Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I've gathered up my courage and I am ready to go into the arena, but first, I was told that I missed something in a crate over on this side. I don't think I did, but I could be wrong about that and I thought I got something I didn't actually get and... Okay, I did miss it. <laughs> There's a last stand badge in there and speaking of badges... Um, uh, actually, I'm gonna swap over to Goombella right away and not swap out the Quake Hammer for the Charge Partner Badge and mm, Shrink Stomp would probably be ha uh, handy. Okay, so I am all set up and can't go through there. <laughs> I know one of them I can go in through, so hold on, I'm gonna save my game just so I don't lose the stuff that I've equipped because I would like to show something here. I'm gonna get the the tattle on something that's coming up and then actually reset the game and play this without the tattle. Mr. Grubba? Yeah, actually he headed through here a minute ago. He was wigging. <laughs> and I'll, I'll show you why I'm going to purposefully miss a tattle here uh, in just a minute, but first I'm gonna explore this place. Uh oh, there he is. He's up there. Can I go through this door? Because the other guy blocked the door on the other side. Oh yeah, I guess you can. Guess there's only one way in and one way out of this place. So here is the giant monitor. I wonder how large this screen is actually. All right, let's go up on the stage and see what he is doing here. I gotta say, you're all a couple of slack-jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now you know my big secret. I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little old dirt nap. Uh-oh. There it is! The Crystal Star! Look, Mario! Up there! The real Crystal Star! <laughs> How'd you like my machine? Pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking power from, from fighters with this baby. <laughs> You're Don Tootin, and you know why? Because it keeps my bod forever young, son. Using a crystal star to look good? You're so totally vain. You're gonna pay for that. Oh, just shut your traps now. I'll use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. Arr, muscle up! Macho Grubba! Whoa! Grubba's got huge! Hooey! I'm gonna smush you guys into guacamole and snack on your energy too! And here is the boss of Chapter 3, Macho Grubba! I'm a powerhouse now, you pestering little pieces of prairie piffle! So long as I have this here machine, my bot will be rough, tough, and ultra buff! Okay, Mario, I bet just what enough this guy's yapping. Let's take him down! Okie dokie. Well, first I'm gonna start out with the tattle that I wanted to do, just to show you what the tattle is like for this boss. That's Macho Grubba. He's Grubba all souped up on Crystal Star Power. That HP is 60, attack is 4, and defense is 0. His attack pattern is simple. First he increases the number of times he can attack, then he powers himself up with all sorts of crazy power uppy moves. So it's pretty important to pay close attention to how he's powered up himself up. The craziest thing about this muscle head is that he used to be that chubby grubba. <laughs> I guess the Crystal Star is really all powerful. All right, now what I'm gonna do here is reset the game if you don't mind and do this battle without that tattle. Okie dokie. Oh, I got a good idea. I'll show you the dialogue when you have Yoshter out here so that you can see the differences when you have different characters out, just for the fun of it. I gotta say, you're all a couple of slack-jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now you know my big secret. I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little old dirt nap. Yeah, you know this cutscene before. I just gotta read through it like I would before. <laughs> And now, here's where it changes. Gonzalez, up there! That's the Crystal Star, right? Because remember, Yoshter doesn't know of the Crystal Star, because you know, he was just born, just starting to learn about this stuff. <laughs> You're dying too, and you know why? Because it keeps my bod forever young, son. 
You are such a scumbag! You're gonna pay for using a crystal star like that! <laughs> oh, shut your traps now. I'll use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out! Macho Rubber! Yo! Grower beefed up! <laughs> Hooey! I'm gonna smush you guys in the guacamole and snack on your energy too! By the way, this song for the boss battle is my third favorite song of the game. Macho! <laughs> Alright, let's do this battle for realsies this time. Let's rock, Gonzalez! I'm ready to chew this dude up and spit him out! Quite literally. <laughs> Alright, so since I don't have the HP gauge, you're just gonna have to keep track of things as I go here, but you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. And you know what else I'm gonna do? Oh yes, this is indeed what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and as the strategy said by Goombala there, he increases the amount of turns that he uh, you can use to attack. But that ends his turn, his first turn, of course. And then he's gonna start powering up, and he's gonna attack multiple times per turns, uh, per turn. So you gotta watch his statistics and sort of plan ahead based off of whatever his statistics are. Okie dokie, okie dokie, yeah. And he powers up his defense. Maybe I'll wait off on attacking him then for a little bit, I don't know. Or maybe I'll uh, just use a, a star, like a penetrating attack such as the Earth Tremor! My charge will remain charged until I use an attack that uses its charge anyway, so hey, why not? <laughs> as long as he's boosting his uh, defense, I might as well, you know, use the turn some other way. I mean, I could just continue to power up Mario, that would also work as well. But, eh, eh, I'll just wait things out, just do things, and I'm just doing some damage here, little damage there, power up here, power up there, you know, whatever I feel like it. <laughs> See, since it was defense penetrating, I didn't have to worry about um, his he being able to block that attack. Alright, let's see what he does this time. His defense went up even higher, wow. <laughs> well, this could be awkward. <laughs> At least until his defense power uh, wears off. But in the meantime, why don't I just charge a little bit more? <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't um, increased his attack points, actually. You know, maybe I shouldn't be charging so much. I should... Wow, he boosted it even higher. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be charging so much. I would like to give him a chance to show some of his attacks, and I could very well KO him. Oh, and his defense boost is over now. He can keep stacking defense boosts, so once the actual turn count runs out, then his defense goes back to normal. So, power bounce! Woo! Okie dokie. Remember, he's got a lot of HP, so I'm not really concerned about... Um, you know, KOing him in just a single turn. <laughs> And once he gets down to like half HP, oh yeah, keep it up, Spicy. You know I'll have a good tussle, Gonzalez. Keep on scrapping, son. Of course it ain't gonna do you much good in the end. This is what he does. Oh, oh, I thought he was gonna beef himself up a little bit more. No, wait. Oh no, Bob -omb in the audience. It's gonna explode. Well, anyway, uh, I wonder if I should. Uh, let's do a shrink stomp because I haven't showed that off yet. And the attack power of him drops, so he's pretty much incredibly weak at the moment. <laughs> uh, what else haven't I showed? Well, I could just ground home for the turn. I think all the other stuff that I haven't showed was all of uh, Mario stuff. Woo! Oh, a little bit late on the timing there, on the second stylish move. Not too shabby, Gonzalez. You got sports with Chosen Chef, and that's gold in this biz. But this here's battles just get inside. It's time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rump kicking moves, they had to make some illegal. <laughs> he just made himself larger, but it's kind of, it's kind of hard to tell because he, I use Shrink Stomp on him. And he, now he can boost his attack power. Oh, 
poopers. I was a little bit late on my timing, that, that's fine. Wait, or, 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 was, or was I late on my timing? I'm actually not sure about that. I thought I was... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, what else haven't I done yet? Spin jump? Did I do a proper spin jump? I don't think so. Woo! Yep, does a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, let's keep ground pounding, because his defense isn't up. Oh, poopers. Ah, I missed both Stylus' chances, but he's down anyway. Now you can tell he's a lot bigger than he was before, kind of, but I, um, I beat him a little bit fast here, <laughs> thanks to the charges that I was doing. I told you those badges are broken. <laughs> So equip those charge badges if you want to have a relatively easy time, I guess you could say. Alright, I'm going to equip the... Uh, equip, uh, equip. Increase the badge points so I can equip more badges later on. No! How this happen? How could a perfect bot like mine lose to such a chub? <laughs> oh, great, Gonzalez. Great fight there, son. Great fight. <laughs> Mr. Champion. It's Jolene! You have some explaining to do! No, I mean Mario. Please, allow me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul grubba. Jolene! I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry that I had to get you involved. What? But you must understand. I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once by the name of Mush. He... done have done everything for me. Our family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired on as the manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Grubba transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope, and then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. Aha! So our ex-buddy was... Correct! It was me. And now we know. Once I saw your fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Gabra. <clears throat> now, sir. Uh, no, not sir. Graba. I want answers right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Oh, Prince Mush, he, he discovered the secret of my power sucking machine. I had him uh, disappear. Any which way you look at it, ooh, he ain't around these pots no more. Oh, I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet mush. Boy, I thought she was kind of mean, but turns out she was just worried for her brother. Wow, check it out, Gonzalez. The crystal star. What's it doing? What the? Is it? Could it be? Whoa, is this my back in the glitz pit? Mush! Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I, I was, I was just... There, there, Mush. It's okay. It's all over. Finally. Is that what Crystal Stars can do? Now, Mario, the Crystal Star is yours. Yes, it is indeed mine. And this closes up another chapter. Whoa, are you sure? It's okay if we just take it? It's better that you have it, so that nothing like this will ever happen again. It's all you, Gonzalez. Nab it, dude. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah indeed. <laughs> Woo! And I learned the move Power Lift. Which does exactly what it says, actually. <laughs> Chapter complete. Glitzville see me up on their side was a dark, dangerous place, seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, lovely, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity and acquired the third crystal star by defeating the monstrous Ma Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the crystal star to run his power draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mystical items possess? Eh, we'll find out about that a little bit later. I think this part's gonna end up being really short, unless I do the midpoint between, you know, chapters with 
peach and bowser you know how these things go so i think i'm going to continue on here without any cuts you bald them tell me what good are you you still haven't taken care of that mario character well yes sorry but only because he's tougher than we thought at first you do understand that we x knots must open the door first do you not <laughs> well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. You've prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. <laughs> Let's away, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian. Wait, did she say lovelies? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we are. Oh, feels good to get out of bed. I'm mm, not about it. I'm officially bored. Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. I wonder, is it safe? I'll take that as a yes. Oh, my. That must be tech again. You know, I, I can go in the lockers at the Glitz Pit, but I can't go in these. It's kind of baloney. Anyway, mandatory shower time. Let's go. Mm. Nobody will mind if I take a quick rinse. La 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 la. Oh, do, 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 do. Boo, 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 boo. I don't think there's any new song that time. That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> and thus the shower is already over. That really was a quick rinse. Like, how do you wash yourself in 30 seconds? That's. <laughs> well. She did say a quick rinse, so I guess maybe she just really meant just to rinse herself under the shower briefly. How oh, refreshing. I feel like a new princess. And she's also blushing, if you didn't notice that, after a shower. Alright, let's move on here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let's go on our date. <laughs> la 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 la. I remember this hallway. I've been through here a bunch of times. Aww. Alright, I'm here, honey. I mean, what? Oh. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in with a warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I'd like you to go where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered into my CPU or otherwise recorded. And that's why I want to know why Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true. But you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding the detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? Look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of dots for her saying nothing and, uh, you know, her mouth is moving, I'll forget it. I imagine you won't take no for an absolute answer, will you? You imagine correctly. Alright, fine, I guess. Well, so, what do you want me to go ask this Grotus? I will tell you. And so Tech does. What in the world is Tech thinking? I mean, honestly, he sure is a weird computer. But they don't tell you what. He wants, ooh, her, wants her to ask Grotus until you get there. Oh, is that the elevator you wanted me to go in? Do, 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 do. And now we can go up. New places to explore. Oh, yes. Please wait just a moment. There are currently soldiers in the vicinity. Huh? How does he not see her in the elevator? Is it, is it that frosted? I can see the dress through there. I'll oh, forget it. Shouldn't question it. Now, Princess Peach, it is the room with the green lamp very near where you disembark the elevator. You're not supposed to go to the left, but if you do, you'll find... nothing! <laughs> Wait, actually, I thought it was... I thought there was actually something... Don't open dread, it must be in the wrong place. Hmm, okay, so I, this is the wrong way, but I thought there were some... Or there were going to be soldiers there. Maybe I'm thinking of another 
thing. Like, maybe it's the first Paper Mario I'm thinking of. Alright, let's just go over to the right, because I knew that was the way to go. <laughs> there it is. But further over here is another locked door. Oh, Yeah, all the, the doors that are red, you can't go in, and also the side doors you can't go in. Please change here, quickly. A soldier's uniform should be in a locker. Oh, sure. Now I can go in these lockers. Not these. These are Those are the changing rooms, by the way. Uh, anything in this one? No, by the way, she walks in there automatically, so it's something that I can't really do. Also, you can't jump as Peach. Yep. Yep. Oh, that, there it is. Anything in the other ones? No? Okay, let's just grab this. Oh, is this a uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. Alright, let's, let's go fit into this uniform. Shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, mmm! I don't know about this. It's awfully tight, and it kind of smells a bit. Ooh! Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, jeez! I've shrunk greatly! <laughs> I bet I look perfect. So, yeah, now I am disguised as an x naught. La 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 la. Hey, how's it going? Hey, slacker, what part of do not leave your post don't you understand, huh? Hmm, what? Come again? Oh, are you on your break? Well, fine, carry on. <laughs> um, I don't think... I don't think I want to go that way first. I just want to check... Oh, PhD guy. What, what? What is it? If you have nothing to say, then don't speak to me. I'm busy. See, I've even got a busy x -Not clipboard here, and it says, Do not disturb! I can't read it from this distance. What do you... I think I can see from miles away. Huh? Do you smell it, dude? What a weird smell. <laughs> you smell nice. That, that, that is just wrong, dude. <laughs> it's nice to have some conversation around here with some people that aren't computers. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go over here. Don't open. Yeah. Still, I just wanted to see if there are any more uh, x knots here, just because it's funny to, to read their dialogue. That x knot elite over there was a... Uh, um... Now, all these are different kinds of x knots we haven't met yet in battle. You'll see what they do when the time comes. Oh yes, you shall. Anyway, this is why I wanted to come here last, because this is what I'm looking for. So actually, let's look through the room. <laughs> There's a door here. Can't do anything there. Oh, so sad. So very, very sad. Hey, Grotus, how's it going? Excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, Sir Grotus. Yes, what is it? Speak. <clears throat> well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan on doing with her going forward? Hmm, something is wrong with your voice, x naught <laughs> Perhaps I have a throat lozenge. No, well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach. I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly. You understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, uh, why, why, uh, why are we keeping her here then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the legendary treasure. That is all I require of you. We exots need that treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? <clears throat> legendary treasure? What are you blathering about now? Hmm? Something is odd about you. Oh, nothing odd. Oh, so, Roger, or whatever. Please excuse me. Thanks for offering me a lozenge. Whew. Oh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world? Talk about creepy. I wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. Mm, I wonder. Can I change back in this one, even though that's not where the dress was? There are no clothes in here. Must be somewhere else. Guess not. <laughs> no naked peach today for you. Off with this thing. And there we go. <laughs> Whoa! Good old pink dress. My favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? Better we get back quickly. Alright, let's do so. As a matter of fact, I think they actually cut forward. <laughs> You terrible machine! So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the 
world. How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world. Many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. No one likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there is also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario of this awful plan for world domination. <laughs> Dick, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. La 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 la. And after just 50 quick keystrokes, she has written an entire letter. Send it this instant. The message has been sent. Alan, Princess Peach, you have had a busy day. Go back to the room, please. Um, okay. I really wish you'd give me like a Rubik's Cube or something to do in there. Good night, Princess Peach. I'm so bored. <laughs> yeah, sure. Go right ahead, game. La, 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 la. And now... The more entertaining half of the Between Chapters segment. Well, okay, this... It's... Okay, what's more entertaining is objective, but whatever. <laughs> I consider this more entertaining. So that thing is humongous! Everybody, hide! No! Save yourselves! Stupid cheating Mario! Who would have thought that fool would be in Glitzville? It's Bowser! <laughs> Did you say something, your rudeness? Oh, uh, no. Nothing at all. As far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those are some unis. One of them should know about the crystal star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them all and get the info we need. Okie dokie. We can't go through this door, by the way. Find them, my lord. Find the hidden beauties and make them tell where their treasure is. Look, that grass clump over there looks suspicious. You're rich at this? Okay, let's shake the grass. Oh, please! <laughs> so let's scare all the punies. Oh, you're like, this guy's big and bad. He's large and in charge. Oh, I can't, I can't get you from behind the... Oh, you're just gonna hide there, okay. Yeah, you're scary, mister. Giant, big, bad breath monster. Don't worry, Petuni. Oh, oh, wait, I thought that was Browser. Don't worry, Petuni. Your big brother is here. Well, get through this. La 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 la. Do, 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 do. Hey, who's this? Be gone! <laughs> it's lecture time! You're one of them, aren't you? One of the evildoers! You want a crystal star! Ha! See? I knew it! This ugly thing knows what a crystal star is! Tell us! Howard! <laughs> Ugly thing! How dare you, you wretched crone! I am the great puny elder! Ah, my heart, don't stare me like that! I'm too old for this stuff! Um. Mm, 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 mm. Oh! Oh! I don't know what to pick! They're, they're both equally good! <laughs> um. They're both too old! Ha! <clears throat> uh, yes, Blood Bowser? You look as if you're dying to say something! Uh, nope, nothing. <laughs> so he doesn't say it. Let's move on, shall we? You, Elder Hag thing, where's the crystal star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Hmm, Hag thing, honestly. In any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. <clears throat> oh, what? That's right, you think. We gave it to a mustached man named Mario. <laughs> He said he was collecting the legendary treasures to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pe Pinch? Yep, he was off to save that lucky lass. It's Mario! Not Mario! And it's not Princess Pinch, her name is Princess Peach! But your senility is besides the point. The princess and treasures must be connected and look at Bowser's face. Mario is trying to get it all. Treasures, princesses, does his greed never end? <laughs> That jackal, both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me! To me! 
If I find them, I'm going to finish them off once and for all! I swear it! And thus ends Bowser's segment. <laughs> yeah, sure. Save, save, save. Go, go, go. Back to the glitz pits! What if this happened at the same time the Bowser and Peach events happen, or if, if they're like one right after the other? So you now must leave. Yes, indeed. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the Crystal Stars. Good luck. Alas, I want to tell you, Rockhawk ain't gonna find dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. And I'm never, ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, rock back! Okie dokie. Listen, G-Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I ever met. If you ever need it, I got your back. So it looks like they've recovered. Me, I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K is back, baby. And it's all thanks to you, dog. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Garb is out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the Glitz Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. Okay. You have tons of fans, and they'd absolutely love it if you'd made a comeback. Anyway, I think it over, okay? And travel safe. Okie dokie. And thus we leave. I wonder if they're still back in the lobby. I should check that really quick. <laughs> Sweet! Another crystal star! That's three, right? You better roll back to Rogueport, don't you think? Yuppers! Let's see if they're back in the lobby... No! Now that I'm the champ... Champion, or I mean former champion Gonzalez, why'd you give out the belt? <laughs> if giving out the belt is like a water slide, what kind of swim chunks do you wear? <laughs> Uh-oh, hold up, former tramp. Uh-oh, the flash is out. <laughs> And you always have the same thing. Wait, wait, what? What? Hold on. Uh, hmm, that is something different. This is you. Your dialogue changed, but you always sigh at the end. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. <laughs>